The standard treatment for food allergies has been no treatment. Instead, people are typically told to stay away from those foods. But an institute in Long Beach has come up with a way to treat patients who have food allergies. A local mom says the program has been life changing. The institute just opened their first clinic here in San Diego, and ABC 10 News anchor Virginia Cha takes us there. These are all exam rooms. Exam rooms in the Southern California Food Allergy Institute's new clinic in Vista. Lead physician Tracy Clark says their approach to food allergies is groundbreaking. It's using food to treat food allergies, which sounds really simple. Dr. Clark says Institute founder and CEO Dr. Inderpal Randawa started by gathering large amounts of data on patients with food allergies. We look at over 400 different biomarkers. We look at blood testing, skin prick testing. We look at patch testing. We look at the state of their immune systems. They use data from thousands as a backdrop for how to personalize each patient's treatment. Food allergy isn't something where, okay, if you have a peanut allergy, I treat you exactly the same as everybody else. One size doesn't fit all. It doesn't, unfortunately. Dana Safadi knows that all too well. Since the day he was born, he always had eczema. Her son Jonathan is allergic to peanuts, tree nuts, eggs, sesame, certain fruits, and wheat. It was a hamburger bun, and um, he reacted so bad, he almost... Um, we had to take him to the hospital. He had an anaphylactic reaction. Jonathan was eight months old when he was diagnosed. He was so allergic he couldn't even touch those foods. The diagnosis meant a childhood of exclusion. Snacks, birthday parties, events at school, even like science experiments, simple things that we don't think about. The answers I got throughout the years until he was nine years old is avoid the food or the allergen, here's an EpiPen, and you're on your own pretty much. Then, two years ago, when Jonathan was nine, the family heard about the Institute. Dr. Clark says they use foods with a similar protein structure to slowly teach the immune system not to react to a target allergen. In the case of peanut, they can use soy, pea, or chickpea protein, for example. But for the highly allergic, these need to be doled out in tiny amounts. So we actually gelatinize them into kind of gummy bears or different shapes in a way so that they can be easily eaten at home. Various colors for different foods, various shapes for different doses. What has this meant to you that this is starting to work? So it's absolutely, it meant a uh, life-changing experience for us. Uh, simple things, taking a road trip. For the first time last fall, Jonathan ate at In-N-Out Burger. He's not ready for a wheat bun yet, but he used to be so sensitive eating food that had been near or touching wheat would make him react. That just made my heart so happy and I was so thankful. Dr. Clark says they have a 99% success rate, but they don't call it a cure. We don't call it a cure yet because we need more research to know that it's absolutely gone. Right now we call it remission. Jonathan and his family can't wait for that day. Eat what you want, wherever you want and however you want it to be. And that's what um, our goal is. I'm Virginia Cha, ABC 10 News. Signs of progress there. Dana says Jonathan still has about two and a half years of treatment left. Dr. Clark says the, tr the typical length of treatment is about two to three years. Once patients hit remission, the Institute tracks them to make sure they're doing okay. They say they've now treated more than 10,000 patients, some coming from other states and countries.